Oh my god. Alright, I will take it. What the actual hell? Um. Oh, classic. But that's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Moxie here in our Borderlands 3 video and today we are reviewing and discussing the polyamorous, terminal polyamorous Malawan SMG from the Broken Hearts event. This is the new SMG, it always drops at level 53 and it will always be fire or shock. The anointment that you get on it is completely random. If you don't know how to get this weapon, you get it by shooting hearts that are floating around enemies in the game. And if you want to get one for yourself, all you need to do is shoot 50 hearts, go over to your event tab, and turn in your 50 heart redemption for this weapon. Now you only get one per character, and the anointment is totally random. So if you don't get the one you like, make sure to join the Discord in the description. There are 15,000 people in the Moxie's Bar Discord, all excited and uh, trading for these weapons. So. If you did get lucky, I apologize, but there is a resource for you to get the one that you want. Now, with this weapon, my initial impressions are that it's pretty meh. Uh, it's mediocre. I've tried it on every character now, and there are some setups that you can get this to work well on, but generally, without perfect gear and perfect anointments, this is not going to be uh, a high performing weapon for you now i'm going to be showing it off with one of the setups that i found worked the best um which is seeing dead uh chain zane uh, it's just this weapon with chain zane um and that builds already ridiculous and overpowered so it works there but uh, pretty much everything else uh you could use a better weapon even with this uh the redistributor is just much better but it does work, so if you want to try it out. Uh, it is a solid weapon at popping hearts, but you don't actually get any extra bonuses if you blow up more than 100 hearts. You're just going to get rewarding invitation. So hopefully we see a buff to this weapon soon because it is cool, um, and it does chain to enemies, but the uh, damage is a little lackluster. Now, I apologize for no face cam today. I spent... Uh, a lot of time last night went stayed up pretty late working on the, our new flak build that is coming out tomorrow called Phase Flak. Uh, I genuinely haven't had so much fun, um, or as much fun making a build as that one. It is crazy. We're doing it in like a COD style montage with the sniper rifle. Hit some sick clips. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. That'll be out tomorrow, and all the updates to my other builds are coming out shortly. Um, but let's just show this SMG. So this is the uh, Shade Zane build. There will be an update for this. I'll be doing update videos for all my stuff. I know you guys want to see it. But on Chain Zane, this weapon works quite nicely if you want to use something else. Um, its single target damage is lackluster. Its, um, its mobbing damage is a little lackluster. But on the perfect setup, you can do some cool things with it. Um, today, we are rocking a Seeing Dead with weapon damage, SMG damage, SMG or weapon magazine size, uh, SMG damage, cryo efficiency, cryo damage, um, and R is anointed for Sentinel cryo. So this is about as much damage. What? The, um, okay, El Dragon Jr. is here. Uh, here we can show off this single target damage that we can do here. So um, that looks good. We're gonna show it off on some other characters. Um, I wanted to show off the best I could possibly get this weapon to do for you guys. But compared to the win Wedding Invitation, not a big fan of it. Uh, you put the Wedding Invitation on Zane, uh, you will get some very, very explosive results. Oh, there's some Tire Skulls. Ooh, 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 ooh. That can cry. Cool. Uh, if you didn't know, Terra Skulls are back, and they're dropping Terra gear. No Terra Anoints, though. If, uh, if you didn't know that before, now you know. Super, super awesome. You can get the Fearmonger, 
Uh, the Fearmonger is back, one of my favorite shotguns. Um, super, super awesome to see it return. I uh, shouted uh, very, very loudly when my first one dropped for me. I was really, really excited about that. So yeah, see, it's a it's a cool weapon. Um, I wish it was a little bit better, but uh, it is a cool weapon and it's a free weapon, so can't complain. All right, let's go show this on some mows real quick. All right, we are back with some mows. We have a 160 splash damage, rocking a blast master at a last stand auto idle. Uh, with an awesome build. Uh, I'm not gonna proc Iron Bear Anointment real quick just to show you the uh, DPS that we can do. This is shock on a shield, by the way, with God Rolled Gear. Full magazine down, switch. We're doing fire damage now. Just to like give you some uh, some more realistic expectations of using this weapon. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and proc our enlightenment. So now we have 160% increased damage or splash damage. Yeah. So um. That is why I think this weapon is pretty meh. Uh, on Chain Zane, it works well. Um, because Chain Zane is dumb broken, and I wanted to show you guys the best I could get this weapon to be. But, uh, on pretty much everything else, it's a mediocre weapon. Definitely get it. Don't miss out on getting this weapon, because it's not going to be very around for very long. We only have a week to redeem it. But... It's uh, it's good on with an overpowered setup, which means it's not that good. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, keep your eye out for that phase flak build tomorrow. If you are having trouble getting your perfect ideal anointment on one of these weapons, make sure to join the Discord in the description. I will see you there, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.